hello and welcome back to our farm here on Michigan Farms. So today, well, let's start off by feeding our dog. There you go, dog. Eat your food. Good boy. And we will load up some eggs. Looks like they've been piling up a bit here. We'll start with this one. Load it right there. And this one, whoop. And put it right here on the end, if I can. Maybe. There. And we will unhitch it or whatever. Take the strap off and put it back on. And then what I do is I continue stacking them right here. Bam. Eventually, you guys will get to see how I unload it. It's kind of cool. It works pretty good. Maybe it'll even help one of you guys out. Because I know that these eggs can be quite a nuisance. Alright. And I know that one's probably not full, but we're just going to take it and get it out of the way. Stack it there. And then we undo the strap and strap it back on. And there we go. Alright. How are our chickens doing, anyway? We have 189 of them. We're getting there. Looks like they could do with a little more food. So let's, uh... Nah, we'll wait. They look good. It's still in the green. But I had to look at this, guys. Look at all of our equipment. You can barely fit anything else in here. Just right here, this section. It's pretty, pretty impressive. And I think we left a tractor over here. Yeah, we did. Alrighty. I don't know if you guys caught the time lapses I did, but we got everything we did. And here, look, real quick. And as you can see, some of these had to be sprayed, even though I bought the other weeder. I bought another weeder in the time lapse video. And then I was progressing time or advancing time so that we could... First, I advanced time so the weeds would reach the end of the field down there. And then, after that happened, I don't know how the weeds grew so fast again, but in a matter of just a few hours, I was, uh... I had the weeders on those back two fields behind me, and I was in the red truck, the diesel, picking up some grain, going to sell it, just advancing time just a little bit, just a few hours. And the weeds grew again to the second stage, and so the weeders couldn't do their jobs. The, it, I ended up having to spray it with herbicide. But, I don't know. It sucked, but we got it done. Let's get this back to our farm. Here. And here we go. So... Today, in today's episode, what I think we're going to do, since we don't have anything to harvest or anything like that, is we are going to, you guessed it, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if you've been watching the series, you know what's going to happen right now. We're going to purchase this. This piece of land here. And I know it's way far away from our farm, but that's kind of the point, to expand away from our farm. So we have multiple places to do things. So, we are going to buy it. Actually, let's go drive over there. We're going to just take our little white truck. First, we have to unhitch it, because this trailer is hooked up to it. So we will unhitch it. And let's drive on over there. And have a look at what we're going to buy. Or what we might be buying. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I we did look at it once before. And I liked it. Actually, before we head that way. Nah, I want to go look at that one. I was going to say, let's go look at, at that red one over there in the distance. But I don't like the field that's next to it here. Well, I'll show you why. I mean, it's a, it's a big field. And it's, but I mean, 624. That's not the reason. I mean, we could afford it. But the main reason I don't want it is, A, it's too close 
not really, it's not too close, but it's closer than I would like to have the our new farm be. I'd like it to be a little spaced out. And then this build is, in my opinion, I think it's too a little too big for grass. We don't really need grass that often. Gra grass grows pretty fast, and I mean, we're only going to need it if we get cows eventually, we'll need it a lot more frequently. But what I'm thinking we're going to do is get sheep. We're going to start with maybe some sheep. And I don't know, I don't even know what what they what you feed them. I have never I've never got the sheep before. One of the reasons I'd like to grab some. This farm is nice, but I think this will be a later goal. I mean, it's big, it's nice, got big fields, but yeah, just I I think it'll be a later purchase. But here it is. Here's the one I'm thinking about getting. <laughs> we just got some air. That was awesome. And. I think it would be perfect because it has plenty of room to store bells and it's got plenty of room like we can we can put animal pins all along here like one here we can place one down here and I think we own if we do buy it we own all the way to like right here maybe a little further here let's see yeah see we're not even to the end so we own all the way down to down that road down there which could be filled with we could mow it for extra grass or we could put extra animal pins down there I mean it's got a lot of possibilities it's got a lot of storage for like I said for hay for equipment does this no it doesn't have doors I've seen in some of the other ones that they have doors that you can open and close which are kinda cool but yeah I mean this one would be real nice it looks like it's even got a gas pump here I don't know can you can you fill it up with gas here I don't think so oh yeah you can I got four dollars in fuel but hey and then let's go look this would be the field that would come with it that we would we would buy alongside buying this 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 area it would be this field and it's it needs a lime. Of course it does. But yeah. It, I think it would be perfect for grass. Just a big, nice, open grass field. So, let's do it. Let's buy this farm. Buy. Yes. Buy this. Now we're down to 642,000. And what I want to do is buy a medium tractor for this farm. So let's just come to here and park it and go into the shop. And let's look. We want to get a, a bigger medium tractor so that it is, well, I don't know. Can this one take? We need to have it have a front loader. Yes, it can take a front loader. How much? Uh, can go up to 270 horsepower, which is nice. Can it take narrows? I don't know if we're going to need narrows. It can. It can su supports narrows. Nice. But yeah, and we're going to need lawn mowers. So let's see. Is there? A, I I don't know. Is there a better lawnmower that needs 160 horsepower I don't know um is there like a, a better tractor for for mowing or not I'm not I'm not quite sure but we do need it to have 160 horsepower so I'm thinking the Valtra looks pretty cool. What's has a steering wheel on the back? What horsepower has 210 and it can go to 250? Does it support narrows? It does. It is 175 and the one I was looking at is 188, so not big difference. The fent looks nice. I think we're gonna go with the Valtra and what is it why is the steering wheel in the back what's that about 
you can change the color. I think white would white looks quite nice actually. So Oh jeez, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Let's um front loader attacher. It, it, oh, I changed the tire, I didn't mean to do that. Um, yes, it can take a front loader. So let's go with that. We don't need more horsepower at the moment. We'll get, we're going to buy it. We bought it right there. Okay. And we don't need mowers right away, but we might as well get them. And I believe that these two hook together. Where does it say? It can be the 301 ED, and that's what that is. So we will buy this one. We will buy this one. And I don't know. Should we get a loading wagon? I think I think just the bells will be good for now. But we do need to buy a front loader for it. Um, we're gonna need just a basic front loader. Oh. More than 150 horsepower. Oh, how much horsepower did it have? I can't remember. Brain fart. It has 210, so we need to get we need to get the bigger front loader. This one. We will keep it black. Buy that. And we need to get a bell fork. Or a bell spike. Change the color. Can you change it to white? just to match the tractor. That's good. And I think that's all that that tractor can actually carry over here. So let's teleport to our new tractor. Let's have a peek inside real quick. How does How does that work exactly here? I'm going to pop up my help inf my help information thingy jigger. Toggle map size. Stop engine. Hmm. I have no idea. I don't get it. Oh well, we'll figure it out. We own it, so we can play around with it. But my question is, can we hook up... This one? Goes to here. Like that. How do you hook up that one? That one has to be hooked up the other way, doesn't it? Will it hook up to... This one? No? Maybe I, maybe I have it the wrong way. Let's go around to the other end. Again. Hmm. I could have swore. Whoop, whoop, nope, 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 nope. Okay. I could have swore those things hooked up together. I wonder... You guys are probably like Frecky that doesn't do that. But hey. I have to try it. Oh, is it because I have the front loader attachment on the front? Did I mess up? Do we have to buy another tractor? No. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just start by taking this over to our, our new farm. I'm gonna get rid of this help menu for now. That's a that's a lot of lawn mowing. But yeah, so in today's episode, it looks like we're just gonna be doing a lot of a lot of back and forth. But it's gonna be nice. We're gonna have our whole new farm because it, I don't know if you saw in the in one of the time lapses, I bought a new cedar. I bought a big one, and I think that will be nice because now we can keep the big one with all of our big fields, the 12, 20, 30, and 29 over there, and since field 22 which is ours isn't as big I mean it's rather small then we can take our our littler cedar over there one thing that I do think we need to buy is an, another small fertilizer spreader just a little the little one like the the one that hooks onto the it's not a trailer it just kind of sits on the back of the tractor I think that would be helpful when we get over here to our to our farm 
I want to check and see if these, because I could have swore these these mowers hook together. Like, I could have swore that you could attach the one that's in the front to the back. I mean, it's even got the little black hole thing to, so you can attach something to it. But I could have swore they all hooked together. I could be totally wrong. Oh, hold on. Let's have a peek. Of course, like they all do, you can have a passenger with you. And... I still... What's with that steering wheel back there? Can you drive this thing backwards? Okay. Before we... Before we continue, drop... That one there. We will put these away in a better spot, but... For right now, I just want to see... If there's a reason... Can I... I can attach that one to the front. Can I then attach this one? Oh, there it is. Look at that. We're going to need a rear weight, of course. I mean, this thing's about to tip. Look, it has no traction. Look at those wheels slipping. Can I then hook this to the... Can I hook it to the back? I think it's probably better on the front, honestly. I can. I can hook this whole thing to the back. That, that makes more sense. Kind of. But alright. First things first, let's get this put away. So we have mowers. Bam. And we have a nice new tractor. It's looking good. I think while we're at the shop picking up our front loader, we're going to grab a... Uh, a fertilizer spreader, just the one like I was talking about, that little one. And we'll fill it up with some fertilizer and throw it on the back. And we will grab our, our front loader and our bell, our bell spike. And we will also put wheel weights on. That might, I mean, we might need to buy weights, but maybe with the wheel weights, it'll just be it. just enough to counteract the the bit of weight that we have on the when we have it on the front. But one thing we are going to need to buy. Or, I guess it's two. We're going to need to buy uh, a tether, or a rake, and a wind a wind rower. The thing that um, you pull behind the tractor, and it puts the grass, or the hay, into a straight line, so that you can then bail it. But we're going to have a whole bunch of back and forth to do, because we have to take a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, this is just new stuff that we're buying. We're blowing a lot of money. We almost spent a million dollars, because we were up to a million again. Just a little over a million, I believe. Like, we had like a million and twenty thousand. But I think it's a good investment. I think it will be quite, pro quite prosperous. Sorry, words are hard. But yeah, so now we're, we're spreading across... Oh, look, there's our farm in the distance. But we're spreading across the map. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's got beacons. Pretty flashing lights. So first, before we grab anything or do anything, we're going to take this over to the shop over here. I know it's probably cheaper to do it at my shop, but I just don't want to travel there right now. We're already doing a whole bunch of back and forth. So we'll turn this off. And go here. And customize. And... We are going to whoop whoop wheel setup. Wheel weights. I don't know how much weight that adds. But I think it's a good idea. I think because if we have the lawnmowers up here in the front here, then because it doesn't look to add weights into the front wheel, so it only seems like it's adding the weights to the back. And so Yeah, we're gonna do it. Customize, yeah. There it is. Hold on. One thing I didn't look at is it says you can change the rim color. What color? Red? Whoop. Nope. I, I was just looking. Does that look good? Do you guys like that? Or should we go with just like a, a pink? Is that more appropriate? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Nope. Don't yell at me. 
I'm thinking I'm thinking the red of the the case red looks good. All right, I'm going to do the case red. If you guys disagree with the decision, then let me know. Yeah, I think it looks good. It matches our farm. Cuz our farm's red. All right. So, back in our tractor. Oh, I forgot. We're going to buy a fertilizer spreader. Just a little one. I like I already had this fertilizer spreader, but m my smart idea was to sell it. But I think that this will be more than enough for that little field that we have over there. And we're going to need to lime it. I don't know if liming Oh, duh. I need to buy more fertilizer. How much can it hold? We're going to go in here and check. It can hold 3,200, so we need to buy... We're going to fill it all the way up, so we're just going to buy four of these bad boys. Like so. Oh, I was going to say, where'd the other one go? Oh, duh, I have fertilizer over there. I pushed it out of the way. See what happens when you push things out of the way. Oh, well. It's not like we won't use the fertilizer eventually. So we got that. We got bell forks. Probably gonna need to come get a bucket and a pallet stack or pallet forks eventually, but we'll do that later. Let's get rid of the stuff here first. We'll load this up. Actually, and then we're gonna come over here and get this. I don't think the rest of it will fit in here, but hey. There we go. We are close enough. Load it up for me. With your magic. Alright, just a little bit more, and we will be full. Just like that. Alright. I have the spikes up as high as they go. Hopefully we don't run into any cars along the way. And I mean like, just like slam them with the forks. And impale their engine and their radiator. Hey, at least this tractor's not super slow. And I think what we might end up doing is taking one of our other littler tractors, or maybe even just buying another a small tractor, and taking it over there. Because we're going to need more than one tractor. And we're also going to take our, I don't know why, but just because we have it, we're going to take our John Deere um, harvester over here. Well, hmm. Yeah, and we're going to do that. Because if we need to buy, uh, or if we, need, if we ever decide to do corn or sunflowers again, and we need the special header for it. We'll just purchase it because our new case harvester? It's a case, right? The red one? Yeah. Um, it it should have a much larger header to go along with it because the one for the John Deere is it's puny. It's just small. So we will bring this over here and then oh man, I was going to say we could grab the um Man, so many names. The Fent, our, our nice Fent tractor, and the Cedar, and bring that over. But we need to, I believe we need to lime this field. I'm going to double check. I, I mean, I could have been seeing things, but I'm pretty sure the field needs lime. So we'll have to do that as well. But first, we are going to park our fertilizer spreader just right next to here. Like so, lower it down. Bam. And I think we should probably, well, if I could see, probably find a spot. I think right here, just next to the next to the gas, should be good. We're gonna need to take our truck back. So instead of teleporting, we're just gonna drive back. Um, drop that. There we go. We'll just leave our. Well, I guess we should park our tractor. We'll just park it in here for now. Oh, hold on one sec. I want to check something. Does it help? It does seem to does seem to help a bit, huh? All right. We'll just park it here. Hop out and run over to our little Dukes of Hazard truck. 
I do like it. I'm really happy. I mean, I love the in look at the inside of this barn. It's awesome. I love it. And the little windows on that to let some daylight in. But it looks, it appears like this one has lights in it. Does it? Yeah, it does. See? Right there. Awesome. So at nighttime, you'll be able to see. I do also have the mod that's in the mod hub for, um, for lights. So we can buy some lights and put some lights here. So let's, whoa, let's beat this car. Sorry, cut you off. My bad. And let's head back to, oh, the train. Haha. -ha. Tricky. Let's head back to our farm and take our little egg delivery truck back. And we will bring our lime spreader full of lime over to our nice new little field. And we will lime that field up and then we will lay some fertilizer down. And while that's going on, we will head back over here to our, our main farm here and grab our new our little cedar and we will go back and we will plant some grass and we'll get some grass planted in there that is that is the plan it's the whole reason we bought it and then we will look into getting a, a sheep pen and you know what else we're gonna do while we're here that it's driving me nuts how that trailer is all skew wampus like that so we're gonna just because Frecky sucks at backing these trailers up we're just gonna flip around again and park it straight there much better I, c I can live with that see it much better what is hold on I'm, I'm investigating what is this what is it plugged into anything no does that plug into a trailer or a, um, uh, a tractor if you have a tractor I imagine that's what that does we'll have to test it sometime but not right now See, look, here's our new cedar. Look at that behemoth. The thing is huge. You actually have to open these up so that you can refill it. It's it's huge. All right, back into our trusty Fent. It's very fast. That's why we're going to use it. And come over here. And our lime spreader is the bigger one. It's the one with the two wheels there. So we'll grab it here. After that, and it's nice and full. That's nice. Oh my gosh, the train again. It loves just messing with us. So we will we will pause or wait. We'll turn on our blinker, as you can see, following all traffic protocols. Oh, I turned on the, I turned on the beacons. I guess that's not necessary right now. Um, okay. I was gonna say the train's gone. What are we waiting for? And you know what? I think we should name this road. See, it's, it's got it's got street signs, but it's got no name. I'm thinking it should be called Frecky Farms, because I think both of our farms are located off of this road. And I know there are other people here, but we are the coolest. Eventually, we're gonna own it. We're gonna own all of them. Maybe. If you guys like it. I I like the map still. I'm still having quite a quite a good time on it. And I think that there's a lot left to do because we can still have tons of animals to work our way towards buying that that piece of land and doing some lumber or yeah lumber forestry. That's what it's called in this game. We can still look into doing sugar beets and potatoes. You know, I know it's real slow going, but hey, I'll time lapse that stuff for you. And then you guys get to see it at a better rate of speed and not have to meaninglessly waste away time watching me plow the, or harvest those things or even plant them at an insanely slow rate. Oh my gosh, the train again. Could you imagine having to deal with trains like this in real life all the time? Maybe out in the country you really do. But where I live, we have... We have a thing that's called 
tracks. It's like a, a above ground subway. Yeah. I don't know. It's an electric train. Still, you don't have to wait for them that often. Not that many people use it, honestly. It's kind of weird. I don't know how it stays going. Alright. So one thing I'm curious about is when this thing hits the end of that field down there. I don't believe... Hold on. My sound's going crazy. I, I'm gonna... Alright. It's good. It was sounding funny on my end. And I've been noticing it does that in my videos. It drives me nuts. But like I said before, it doesn't do it on any of my stuff. It doesn't do it in my... Before I render my videos. After I render my videos. It only does it after it uploads to YouTube. So I'm not quite sure why it does that. But here. We're going to start this guy here. Hope he reaches the end. Nope. Nope. Come on, Frecky. I always dreaming this thing would be a wider spread. Alright, there we go. And then we're just gonna we're gonna observe for just a minute. I know, hang in there. Okay, we're gonna hop out. We'll let him continue. And I just wanna see what happens when he reaches the end down here, at this end. Can you go over here? Or is this the end of the map? Ah, it's the end of the map. It's cool how they put trees all around it, though. Don't run me over, dude. You won't get paid. Don't bite the hand that feeds. But see, there's no, there's no ditch here. I mean, it's a very teeny little land thing. But there is no ditch. So, theoretically, he should just be able to come up and flip around. All the way to the end. Bam. Just like that. And then, flip around. Oh yeah, I forgot. We're right next to the ramp. So we'll flip around. Come in here. And go all the way back down to the other end. Right? Right. Alright. So, let's go back to this tractor. And while that guy's doing that, we are going to actually, you know what, let's just do some other things while we wait. I was going to say, let's just hop in this tractor and take it and grab the cedar. But when this guy, this uh, when our Fent guy is done doing lime here in this field, we're going to have that guy do some fertilizing for us. And while he's doing that, we'll take the Fent back to our other farm over there and grab the cedar and bring it back so we'll do it that way um I wanted to lay down some things like an animal pen and uh should we go with a large or you know two people let's just go with a small for now and I'm thinking whoa it's in the trees all right I'm gonna use my mouse for this and I've got to bring this up so we can see what's going on but rotate I think it would make most sense to have that stuff facing our farm like so like that Should we put it over more? No? Like this maybe? I'm not I'm not quite sure. Or should we keep it in line like that? And then we can Let's do it like Let's do it like that. Bam, it's done. Let's have a look at it. So everything looks good. And this is where we I believe this is where we feed them. And this is where we put water in. Good. Good, good. Oh, my bird's yelling at me. Yeah, Ozzy, I, Ozzy, calm down. But I wanted to come into here like so. 
and we're going to make a little path around around it and up into here so well hmm or do we just want to keep it grass I think what we'll do is we will make a pathway here just here here I'll show you I'll show you what's going on I'll show you what I'm thinking here if I can uh remember how to uh trying to get it to the paint painting thingy uh am I just blind change landscaping mode x and how do we change switch we want it to be we want it to be this stuff like that I believe that's what it is right we're gonna bring this out it's the same is it the same yeah it's the same all right here let's switch uh, the shape like this just go down along here like that I'm just gonna bring it to the end like right there and then here and I'll show you what I was thinking we're gonna just go like this and then we're gonna change the ground type what one is that one see no no and not X it's tab all right I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to learn this stuff and we want it to be the dirt I think I went past it. Is that the dirt? We're gonna change it to this. Go like, like this. Oh no! It kind of froze for a second. I was worried. And we're gonna come just around like this. Make a little dirt path. A little entrance way here, like that. A little dirt path around. I don't want to take the grass out. I mean, it looks good. So we're gonna just keep it as slim as possible. Maybe we'll widen that up just a tad come around to like that we're not gonna go on this side but we are going to tie this stuff in like that and then maybe just have a little path of dirt that comes out here like a little entrance way like that what do you think Let's go check it out. Hmm. Maybe I should just do a little bit of dirt here, huh? Yeah, we'll do it. Let's go back into the landscaping. Are we still at the... Was that dirt? I think it was. Roll around. And go like this. Just... Oh, I went over that. We're going to have to switch back... Oh, that's fine. Looks like the dirt spilt over a little bit onto here. That looks fine. And that little grass spot patch looks fine. So yeah, I think it looks good. We're gonna need to buy a... Um, what is it called? It's not a silo. Is it miscellaneous? Yes, we're gonna need to buy a water tank. To fill up the water. We will put our water tank here. Like so. And then we're going to need to buy what I was going to buy last time unnecessarily. Where is that? Animal stuff. Animal transport. Animals? Is this it? Yeah. A water the thingy right right bye because we have to get it. for some reason we can't just use a hose or whatever we have to get a trailer to transport the water from there over to the water place and then what do these things need I guess we have to buy one to find out just where do we buy them here One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know this is kind of mean because I don't even know if we have the food for them. Maybe we should just buy one. Now nah, we'll buy we'll buy ten. Ten's good for for now. Confirm. We bought them. And now what do they need? They need cleanliness. They need water, and they need grass or hay. Dang, we don't have either one. Oh, we can buy so we can buy a bale of hay if we since we're not going to get any soon. So we'll do that in a minute. We still need to go pick up our our water tank and put some water in there and all that fun stuff. Oh, pretty bird. But I think this feller is done. Did he get it all, or did he miss a miss a little edge? Oh, he got it all. Good job, guy. So we will move this, and we will grab our Valtra. That's what it's called, right? Valtra tractor, our white one. And we will have him start spreading some fertilizer on there. We're just gonna leave this guy running. Start this guy up. Go in there and grab our fertilizer spreader. Oh, I like that. It's got a little uh, glass roof. That's nice. Now let's get in there and check that. That's awesome. All right. Come out around here. Come back in this way. And we're going to have him start at this end. And work his way towards the road. But we gotta see how long, the f how f wide that spreads. Oh, that should get it, no problem. Work, do it. Is he gonna get it? Everything, nice. All right. Let's let that guy do that. And we, at the moment, will go back to our other farm with our fent, and we will grab the cedar. Hopefully it has seeds in it. And I'm not sure. I think we might have to go buy more. But I think it might have enough in here. Because you don't have to replant grass. I think you just have to plant it one time and it just keeps growing back. We're definitely going to have to refill our lime spreader. How much money do we have? 241000 We're doing alright. No complaints. You know, it might be easier, for, at least for our sheep, just to buy a... Can you make... You can make bells of grass, can't you? Yeah. And then the silage you just make by wrapping the grass up. But, um, I was gonna say, it might be cheaper and easier just to buy a loading wagon for our... Our chickens. Or not our chickens. We don't have chickens over there, Frecky. But for our sheep. But I think we'll just do it in bales. Because we already have a baler and a bell load, uh, bell auto bell loading trailer, we, that way we don't have to invest further money into something we already have in a sense. And that way we can store bells of hay or grass and keep them for the imaginative winter. But what we're gonna do when we get here is we are going to let the Lime, our lime silo fill up our lime spreader. Whoa, whoa. So we'll open that up, fill it up with lime, just leave it here. And that way it's ready to go when we need it. Whoa. And we will come over here to our old cedar, this one here. And take it over there. Maybe. We might have to stop and get seeds. Yeah. I don't think 393 is going to be enough. So we're going to have to make a journey over to the store. And grab a bit of seed. Kind of an exciting day. Getting a whole bunch of new stuff. Except a whole new farm area. 
Man, that money goes quick when you're doing the when you're filling up a line. Just look at it. Can you see it up there? Here, I'll put it where you can see it. Look at it. It's just dropping. Be quick. Oh, my cat's freaking out. He's meowing at me. I I don't know why my animals decide that when we when we start recording that it's their duty to come over and pester me. Oh, you see that? We were drifting on the trailer. Almost to the store. Pop it open so it's ready to go. So it's ready to get seeds thrown in it. Boop, boop. I like the water tower. That's a cool added feature. You don't see me. Well, at least where I live, we don't see many water towers anymore. I kind of tore them all down. They like to tear things down around here. Gentrification. I believe that's what they call it. Well, that that pallet had a whole bunch of stuff in it. That was useful. And so, that one was just as useful. Here, let's hop out. Let's go buy more. We're gonna need what, like two? Well, let's just buy three, just to be safe. So we don't have to run back here and buy more. Cause we might as well fill it up. That one, that one. Well, looks like our helper has completed their task of fertilizing for us. Thanks, dude. Oh no, oh no. You guys didn't see that. I didn't. I did not just run over our water trailer. We're gonna have to come grab that too. I think we'll have the Valtra start planting our uh, grass for us. And while it's planting the grass, we'll run back and grab the water trailer with this tractor, just purely because it's faster. It's much faster. Seven miles an hour. It may not sound like a lot, but hey, in the gist of things, it, it's quite helpful. Oh, oh, I, I'm the best driver. It's quite amazing at my driving skills. Or I'm quite amazed by my driving skills, is what I should say. We're, we own this land. We'll drive on it. That's a lot of forestry right there. That's kind of cool. One day, Frecky. One day. Our poor sheep are... They're starving. And they're dehydrating. They're dying of thirst and hunger. And we're over here lollygagging. Moving tractors around. And all that stuff. Look at them. Poor guys. It's a really good thing that... You can't kill them in this game. I could, I, I'd be so sad. Alright, so we will leave that here. We'll just leave this tractor over here. Turn it off, because we're going to be just a second. Did he get it all? I wonder if he got the whole field. Oh, he missed one section there. Here, we'll take, we'll take care of it for him. I know, I ask a lot. The workers have a hard time doing, uh, doing it. Alright. Will that cover it all? I think so. We will head down to the end. A long trek to the end. Man, that tractor bounces a lot on this ground. Look at it. It's like we're running over potholes and stuff. Looks like it's off-roading. What? Well, duh. It kind of is. Does this look like a road? It looks like it's uh, off the road. The road's over there. So yeah, technically we are off-roading. We're going to have to get a screenshot when we're done here, guys. And 
we might as well get these little, see the little section of white right there? I like to try to get these. The workers always seem to miss just that last little, little corners and stuff. So we will just take care of them real quick. There should be more. Just a few more spots at the end over here that the worker missed. But yeah, this little fertilizer spreader is perfect for this field. I mean, it did not cut it for our big fields. I think we had to refill it twice per field. And yeah, that's just a lot of going back. Especially going when you have to go to the store for it. It's a lot of extra driving. So it made much more sense just to use the old... The one that we got for lime originally. But yeah, that's done. We will put this away. Try to keep things tidy. Park it here. Like that. Oop. Can't see anything. Come over here. And grab this. This should have plenty of horsepower to pull it. Let me just check. I don't want to. I, I don't. I mean, I know it, sometimes it can. It works a little most of the time, but I think I could be wrong. But I think it does more wear and tear on your tractor. It requires yeah, 180. We're good. And we need to change this from soybean to grass. That's grass, right? I think so. And I think the worker should be able to do this whole field without any problems. We will have to see though. That branch that's just right in the way, isn't it? I think we should get it. it. Should be no problem. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, my bad, dude. Carry on. Don't let me get in your way. Let's go back to here. We have to go grab our uh, our water tank. So at least I have something to drink. Back to the shop we go. Maybe if this tractor will get moving. I just took out. I just totally took out the mailbox. Ugh. Like I said, Frecky, the destroyer of mailboxes. Hold on, I have to move my cat. Alright. Good thing I didn't wreck while we were doing that. You know, we did a lot by 7.26 in the morning. Quite the morning. We're, just, we're not going to play with traffic. We're just going to go around these guys and gals there. What is that? Is that the lumber yard over there? Sawmill and the biomass heating plant. So you guys have to make a confession. I have absolutely no clue what the biomass heating plant is. What what kind of things do you do there? No idea. It's beyond Frecky's knowledge. Maybe we will learn one day. But for right now, we are just worried about getting our water tank. So our sheep at least have water. This is going to be messy. Yeah, it's going to be messy. We're, we're going to be pulling stuff along. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. But hey, we have a water tank. And it's got even got a little caution sign. See it? See that? Right there? Let's race back to our farm number two. But eventually, I think... Oh, I don't think I'm going to have time to show you. Oh, I would like to buy a field 23 down there. Oh, oh no. We're going to go off-roading. But right there? Because... But then we could put oat or wheat or barley in there and we can get the straw that we will need eventually if we ever buy, buy the cows. 
because from what I understand they need all three they, I believe they use some for bedding and then they use another they use some of the straw for bedding and then you have to use all of all three straw grass or no straw silage and hay together for total mixed ration I believe that's what it's called yeah total mixed ration and that feeds your cows better like it's, it's the only way from what I understand that you can actually get a full 100% productivity from them if you don't then uh, if you don't give them total mixed ration then you're getting like 80 I think 80 uh, productivity which is good can't complain there but of course you want it to be a hundred the better productivity you get from your animals the more they're gonna give you so the more product and revenue you will make you know how it goes. Almost there. Bam. We have a whole tank of water now. And if I remember correctly, which probably don't, but this is the one the water goes in? Yeah, that, we did it. I doubt they're gonna take very much water. Yeah. Just that teensy little bit there. We're just going to leave our water tank parked over by our water tank. Imagine that. We're going to refill it so it's ready to go next time. Will it refill? Yeah, it just refilled you and put them out there. Perfect. One thing I wanted to check was make sure that this guy here is going all the way to the end. I guess we can drive on it. He hasn't planted on it yet, so hey. We're good. Like, make sure he's going all the way to the other end by this field and not leaving a space. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. That's awesome. What? What's going on? Are we doing what we did in the, other t in the other field? Look, so some of this field actually belongs to us. See? So he's actually planting a different crop in here. He's planting grass and on top of their other stuff. Why am I not getting my info box down there? I'd like to see how fertilized and all that jazz it is. But we better move. Let's get out of his way. But yeah, for the next little bit, it's probably just going to be uh, moving things back and forth and finishing doing our, uh, seeding. So, I'm just going to let you guys go for a minute. Well, it'll be just a second for you. And I will show you guys the final product. So, I will see you guys here in just a second. Alright, so... In between time, I finished, or I had the worker finish planting the grass here. And as you can see, we have our second stage of fertilizer being laid out. And I put down a shop just so we don't have to go back and forth right here. It actually fit perfectly right here. It's kind of nice. And I put down a power washer next to it so we can clean our equipment. And then I brought over... Yeah, the cedar, the auto stacker, and the baler. But what we're going to do now is... Well, I was going to go buy hay and stuff. So we're going to have to do that. But I we're going to have to switch tractors. So we'll wait for this guy to get back here. And we will take his tractor from him. Because we can't use the fence because it doesn't have a front loader I don't even think it has front loading capabilities so we're just gonna stop this guy lower this down and we'll have the fence take over fertilizing for us let's 
let's drive over here but we're gonna go buy a trailer so that we can eventually put our uh, what's it called our bells of wool onto it and we're also going to buy a few things of hay just because we don't have any right now for our sheep sorry my brain doesn't want to work right right now all right so we got this we'll just have this guy finish off here for us oh we should move over so we don't waste so much fertilizer and we'll go about right here hopefully that's right nope of course it's not look at me I'm so good at this alright is that better is that gonna reach it all looks good it appears to be good alright carry on sir but yeah the only thing that I really need to bring over now is the the harvester maybe I might I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bring that harvester over the our John Deere one so we have the harvester over here for when we do buy that other field but as of right now we're just gonna leave it there and we're going to like I said we're gonna go grab a trailer and one or two bells of hay for our sheep so that they can start being a little productive so they don't starve and die poor things but yeah I really do like our new farm I think it'll be nice it'll be a good spot for to like our animal headquarters and if need be like if we actually absolutely need more grass we can buy that field right there and turn it into another grass field or uh, wheat barley oat field if we need more of that but we can always Oh, my dog's barking outside. But we could always buy that. Or not buy it, but just transfer it from our silo, our big silo, at our main farm, and bring it over. Alright. I might have to go see what my dog's barking at. She's kind of freaking out in the backyard. She's big and she's loud. All right, she's calmed down, I think. We're good. So back to what we were doing. Sorry, I got a little I got a little distracted trying to see what was going on. Um Well, oh, yep. We're cutting through McDonald's. My bad. So let's stop right here. And buy a trailer. I think we're just going to get like the same trailer that we already have. Wherever, where are our trailers? Aren't they right there? Yeah. We're just gonna get this one again and make it a bell loading wagon. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. It works. We should be able to fit plenty of stuff on it. Oh, whoops. And we need to buy, we're gonna buy two, two bells of hay. Just two of them. Bam, like that. Okay. And we're going to get in our tractor and head over and we're gonna move the trailer to a more suitable location for the task at hand because you guys are about to see how good I am at doing some, some loading of bales and stuff. This will be quite comical for you guys lower that down like so I believe that yeah, yeah, should be good come over here we're gonna try to get it straight on oh we just we just took out our mirror all right so come in here like so I believe lift up maybe we're gonna try to do this without dropping the one on the top but you guys have to keep in mind that it's me doing this and I am so bad at this I haven't done it for you guys yet but I have done it 
Oh, yeah, I'm about to lose him, aren't I? We can just lay it here. Let's just go backwards. I know, you guys are laughing right now. I know, it's to be expected. And um, we'll set it down. Whoa, whoa, maybe. Like that, maybe? Yep, hey, we got it. Let's see. Look at that. You wouldn't even know that Frecky just did that. You think, dang, that guy's good at loading bells. Just don't tell anybody, okay? Because I'm not very good. Are those going to stay on there? I'm pretty sure those straps hold them on there pretty good, huh? I think we're good. Our sheep will be happy. Hopefully two bells is enough for, what, we got like ten sheep, I think? It's pretty cool. We're doing pretty good, guys. We have come a long way. Not only do we have one farm with a ton of nice big equipment, but now we have two farms and they both are pretty decked out. We got a whole bunch of chickens. We are starting our little sheep. A plethora of sheep. But we do need to get a black sheep eventually. I think I bought ten sheep, not thinking and I we should have like for every nine sheep we have Sorry, I remember yelling. But for every nine sheep we have, we should have one black sheep. Aren't the black sheep the counting sheep? Like, so that the shepherd knows exactly how many he has. Ozzy, you need to calm down. He's freaking out right now, you guys. Yeah. But we will see how much of this hay our sheeps actually take. And you guys are going to get to see my uh, amazing unloading skills yet again. Was that? That was the water. So they, oh, they get fed right there. Alright, okay, we better not back up. We're just going to leave it here. We will hop out of our tractor. Bam. Bam. Oh, I missed that one. Bam. Bam. Done. Alright, bam. We're going to take off the top one first. Well, we're going to attempt to. I'm not even not even close to right here. Alright, here we go. That's going to get the top one, right? Only the top one. That's what we want. Got it. Got it. And the food goes over on this side. Better lower it down. We're going to roll the tractor. Ozzy, calm down, pretty bird. Hey. Take it. Aha. How much did that give him? Hey. Doing good. Alright. I don't think they're going to take this whole other bell. But we shall see. We have it. We might as well lay it down. I'm glad I got two, not just one. Oh, maybe if I can do this right. Bam! Oh, they took it all. They are, they're good. I think I just... Each one of those bells have 4,000 and just gave them 5,500. I think we just got ripped off. Oh well. At least we have happy sheep. Now we can come park this over here. I believe this is where the hay comes out at. Or not the hay, but the whatever it's called. The wool. So yeah, that looks like a good spot for it. Oh. And yeah, I destroyed our mailbox. I don't know if that was in the last video or not, but I took out our mailbox. So now we can no longer receive mail. Committed a federal crime. 
We'll disconnect that. It looks like whoop. Well, looks like we need to uh, come finish fertilizing because our worker missed a little bit there. And then this field should be ready to start growing us some grass. I've never planted the grass before, so we might actually have weeds come through, but I'm not 100% positive on that. I'm going to hire a worker real quick. Oh, it's not going to do it, is it? Okay, never mind. Whoop, I just turned off the tractor. Gosh darn it. I'm having a hard time here, guys. I'm going to go let my dog in real quick. I have it on cruise control, so you guys keep an eye on it for me, and if it gets out of hand, you correct it. All right, I'm back. Thanks for taking care of that for me, you guys. What would I do without you? But yeah, once we get to this field, there, this field all fertilized, then we should be all set up, I'm ready. It is quite interesting. This look, uh, how our when we were seeding, it came into our neighbor's field here. Oh no, I missed that corner. Okay, got it. Bam. Of course I don't have access to that land. At least that part of it. I do with a little edge there. We will go drop off our fertilizer in our new shed. We're going to drive through our big one. Just because we can. Oh no, we're not. We're going we're gonna to crash insanely we just about took out our our brand new shed that would have been perfect for our first day's work huh thank goodness it's not that realistic that would have been very unfortunate ruin our tractor and ruin our new barn okay lower that down I think that's in there pretty straight bring this one out there it is perfection guys Alright, so with all that done, I think we're going to end it here for the day, and I will see you guys again soon, and as always, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.